in the Asian city of Benin, University Preparatory Secondary School, a first-class institution, poised in excellence, increased student engagement, online and virtual learning. With our modern learning facilities, computer laboratory, multi-purpose science laboratory, multimedia studio, a well-equipped library, a comprehensive music program, resource facility, deliberate skills acquisition programs, extracurricular activities, certified teachers, all of which produce well-rounded graduates. Get a form at the school office or visit upsshub.com Knowledge and Virtue Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting edition of your favorite TV show, UPSS and Camp World. I'm Anaze Emanuela, SS3 Mercury. And with me here in the studio are... Jemima Rose Samaname from GS2 Silicon. I'm Ohanaka Prudence from SS3 Copper and you're very welcome to the show. I can't believe it's week three already. This time is going really fast. And it seems like just yesterday we're preparing to resume for another great academic session at our Citadel of Learning. It seems like 24 hours is barely enough when you're doing a lot of hard work. Speaking of hard work, we've all attended Knock Knock events in this school, right? Yeah. Oh my bad, you're in JSS and you haven't attended any. Yes, not until this time. Oh yeah, Knock Knock was one of those events that was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, it was. Well, this year, the Knock Knock was held and it was symbolic. As its purpose, it signaled the beginning of the 2021-2022 academic session. And it was also an avenue for the new student cabinet members to be sworn in. The event was also meant to familiarize the new students and also the old ones with the school policies and regulations. They were educated and re-educated on the use of the school's e-learning portal. The students also got the opportunity to register themselves with the various clubs of the school. Jemima, what clubs did you sign up with? Well, I signed up for three clubs and they were debate club, sport club and also music club. Can you sing? Yes, quite well, but I'm into instrumentals. That's nice. How about you, Prudence? I signed up with only one club, which was the drama club. Why the drama club? Because it's obviously the best. I agree with you on that. Well, let's not talk too much. Let's allow the viewers see for themselves. Sit back, relax, and we'll be right back. In UPSS, amongst every activity to start up the new term and session, most notable is the knock-knock ceremony a symbolic event meant to usher the students and teachers officially into the school for the new session. Games. 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 This year's event started off with an orientation exercise for the students. Present at the event were the head of departments in the school, the school's counselor, Mrs. Abigail Igbadume, the administrator, Mrs. Efio Motuja, the vice principal, junior secondary, Mr. Frank Wambwezi, vice principal, senior secondary, Mr. John Ogiagwe, the principal, Mr. Blessing Ehondo, the proprietress, UPSS Camp and Cam, Mrs. Julia Surevu. The students were educated on the school's policies and regulations. 
As we all know, we have different uniforms for different days. So you are expected to wear the uniform that has been scheduled for a particular day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The use of Pidgin English is strictly prohibited. Loitering around the school environment after close of school is also prohibited. The potter is integral to the school plan and curriculum. So, clearing your modules is also a condition for you to be qualified to writing the exam. Over the course of resumption, an election was held amongst the student's body to select a new set of cabinet members who would represent the students both junior and senior secondary. It was a keenly contested one as flyers were distributed both physically and online and a mini conference was organized for the cabinet nominees to present their manifestos to the student's body in a bid to get enough votes to grant them a seat in the student's cabinet. I shall not stand before you and deliver a magnificent manifesto and end up as a minister who arranges student lines in assembly. No, but I stand before you as a woman of integrity. As a minister of science and technology, if you vote for me, I would like to conduct voluntary programming lessons for people who want to be programmers as they come out of the secondary school. Thank you very much. Everyone here can agree with me that the break period in our school is quite short. In fact, this is a problem that affects both teachers and students. But in as much as we are extending the break period, we want to give the school something reasonable. Now, most of my candidates have come up here stating what they would do. But many of them have, have not actually asked you what you want. I mean, how many people have come up here and have asked you what do you want? They keep going, I will, I will, I will, I would. Now, most of you saw me in your classes. When I came to class today, what I asked was, what do you want from me? Most of you can remember. My job is going to be to make myself available for you. Now, when I was growing up, I was taught that leadership means service to the people. And as vice president, I want to, I will make promises that I can't keep. But I will listen to you and I will bridge the gap between students and management. And on the day of the knock-knock event, the cabinet members were officially sworn in. Era and Jacqueline, sworn in as the Minister of Science and Technology. Otabo Emanuela, sworn in as the Minister of Information. Agbadudu Ogeneru Kewe Destiny, sworn in as the Minister of Science and Technology. Aaron Sir Oswin, sworn in as the Deputy Minister of Sport. Bakeji Ogeneru Mu, sworn in as the Minister of Arts and Culture. Enwarim Christabel, sworn in as the Minister of Sport. Akana Wonderful, sworn in as the Minister of Education. Idehe Onome Natasha, sworn in as the Minister of Health and Environment. Idehe Jane, sworn in as the Minister of Agricultural Science and Natural Resources. Nokundia Desmond, sworn in as the Minister of External Affairs. Benito Oserogo Obey, sworn in as Vice President. And Amoye Mese Omoriye Clinton, sworn in as President. I, I do solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of University Preparatory Secondary School on this day, 23rd September 2021, with all diligence Integrity. Integrity. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. One of the first duties of the newly sworn in cabinet members was the task of negotiating with our big mummy, Mrs. Julius Urevu, on the standards which we have chosen to work by as students of UPSS. The student's president spoke on behalf of all the students. Knock, knock. Who goes there? Why do you besiege this feeble fortress? Are you oblivious of the fact that our walls have never been breached? Leave now while you still can. Forgive me, my lady. 
I come in peace as the head of this horde of intellectual gladiators. I am Omoye Mr. Clinton and I seek your attention. Please open the gates. I am yet to ascertain your purpose. I cannot let you all in. Since you claim to speak for these people, I will let you in. Alone and unarmed. Alone and unarmed. Thank you, my lady. Rise. Rise, my son. My lady, my people and I have come to seek preparation and protection in your fortress. If I elect to let you in, can you and your people survive here? We will not only survive, my lady, we will strive also. Why is that so? Not all of us are strangers to this fort. Some of us have quenched our thirst with the waters we fetched from the UPSS pool of enlightenment. Our skins have been tanned by your rays of hard work. We have embraced e-learning and signed a pact with digital education. We have complied fully with COVID-19 regulations. We have told tales of our interaction with our newest members, especially the JSS1 adventurers. We have all come here today with one resolve, to imbibe knowledge and virtue with a view to perpetuating the tradition of hard work and academic distinction of which this fortress, UPSS, is renowned. After coming to an agreement, Big Mommy ushered us into the school for the 2021-2022 session, class by class, teachers too. My lady, please open the gates and let me usher my people in. Your words seem consistent with my expectations. Please let them in. about you. So what are you here for? I'm here to give you this flower as an appreciation gift from the GSS1 class. Thank you very much. GS1, you are welcome to our fortress. to present our flowers as an appreciation gift from the class of JS2. Thank you very much. Invite them in. J3 quarters. Our BECE, are ahead of us, will submit to tutorship whether offline or online. We'll put in extra hours to make you proud. Thank you very much. I welcome you and your group to the fortress. and I know we have to put on our work clothes and embrace our tools. We are ready to attend the garden and attend practical sessions, but liars and hypocrites are not a part of who or what we are. Our words are our bounds. We are a people of honor that seek knowledge and virtue, the type that abounds only in your fortress. We work both online and offline. Thank you. With all my heart, I welcome you to the fortress. We 
are getting ready to take over the watch from the people on the wall. We will not only comply with the tenets of hard work and discipline, but we will also propagate them. Thank you very much. I like your words. Bring your people into the fortress of education. accepted into the fortress. Very well, ma'am. We are here to give our best in protecting the territory of this great academic institution and also to protect the interests of our students. So, I bid you bring them into the fortress. Next, the classes of the school presented their themes for the academic year to Big Mummy, the proprietress. Ah, I can see you. We are stars and eggs. You're skillful, techy, articulated, and resilient students. Is that true, children? Yes, ma'am. So what are you? Can I hear you again? Yes, ma'am. are stars and... We are stars and... And the year 2021-2022, shining stars in UPSS. You'll be skillful, you'll be techy, you'll be articulated, resilient, and you'll be the best of the stars on earth. Welcome to UPSS. Wow, I can see dedication and hard work the core of excellence i'm going to watch out for that from those of you in js2 may i ask you js2 what is your team for 
save. and to be motivated as students of UPSS. Can we clap for ourselves? To close the exercise, the new students of the school went around the club stands to get affiliated with different clubs of the school which caught their interest. And that was how the 2021-2022 academic session began officially with high hopes and determination in us students. It's been Benito Acerago Obey reporting for UPSS and Camp World. Set in the ancient city of Benin, University Preparatory Secondary School, a first class institution, poised in excellence, increased student engagement, online and virtual learning, with our modern learning facilities. Computer Laboratory, Multipurpose Science Laboratory, Multimedia Studio, a well-equipped library, a comprehensive music program, resource facility, deliberate skills acquisition programs, extracurricular activities, certified teachers, all of which produce well-rounded graduates. Get a form at the school office or visit upsshub.com. Knowledge and virtue. Welcome back. I hope you had an amazing time with us today. To be part of this great academic excellence, pick up your forms at our school's office at the address scrolling on your screen below. Alternatively, you can sign up at upsshub.com. Or if you're watching on YouTube, just follow the link in the description below. Until we meet again, same time, same channel next week. Wear your face masks and stay safe. Always remember, hard work pays. Bye! Boom, 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 boom,